Hello, good day viewers. Still on trigonometry. Today we are going to talk about coterminal angles. What are coterminal angles? Coterminal angles are angles that are located in the same position. And to obtain coterminal angles, you can add or subtract 360 degrees in degrees or 2 pi in radians. So this is how it goes. For example, if we have a unicycle like this, this is a unicycle. For example, 30 degrees. This is a positive angle, 30 degrees. Uh, I think, let us do it simultaneously. For instance, if I have negative 40 degrees here. How, what is the difference between this and this? If you are counting angles, you are measuring angles counterclockwise like this, anticlockwise. All the angles major will be positive. But if it is clockwise direction, you are measuring from the standard position. This is the standard position, the origin. If you count backward like this, clockwise, all angles are going to be measured negative. Minus 30, minus 40, minus 45, minus 90. So if you reach this position, it will be minus 90 degrees, which is equivalent to 270 degrees if you follow the other direction because this is 90 180 270 but as you move like this backward this is negative 90 this is going to be negative 180 and this is going to be negative 270 this is going to be negative 360 degrees so that is what we mean so coterminal angles can be obtained by adding or subtracting 360 degrees so let us take these two angles for example, if I have 30 degrees, to obtain a coterminal angle, let me tell you something. All coterminal angles will have the same ratio. For example, if I move from here, because this, this is what? 30 degrees. So if I should move from here round to make a complete rotation, I'm going to have an additional of what? 360 degrees on top of 30 which is going to give us 390 so 30 degrees or 390 degrees will have the same ratio sine of 30 degrees will be the same thing as sine of 390 degrees why do we need coterminal angles remember in our previous lesson we have talked about reference angle so uh, if you have this maybe you may get confused you can subtract 360 degrees here to have a very small angle which you can easily find it ratio they will have the same thing so 30 degrees and 390 degrees will have the same uh, ratio sine ratio cosine what what have you but what if we decide to follow this direction we have what minus 360 degrees so if you minus 360 degrees, it will be minus 330 degrees. So minus 330 degrees. All these three, and we have infinitely many of them. The moment you add a complete rotation, you have another coterminal angle. They will all fall under the same what? Position. They will all be on the same position. And this is what we call terminal array, this line here. So we have negative 330 degrees. All of this will be the same. The same thing here, this is negative, right? Negative 40 degrees. If you decided to move like this positive direction, positive direction, it means you have added 360 degrees, which is going to make it what? 320 degrees because the moment you add 360 degrees to negative 40 is just like subtracting 40 from 360 degrees which is going to give us 320 degrees 320 degrees and if you decide to move to the negative direction like this you have added negative 360 degrees which is going to give us 400 negative negative 400 so all of these three angles will have the same ratio 
So in case you are given negative 400, for instance, you're asked to find sine of negative 400. First of all, you need to find the location. We know that um, if you are moving like this, you have from the standard position, you move round, you have 360. We need 40 extra. And since we are moving like this, remember it is negative. So from here back to the standard position, we have negative 360. Negative 40 will make it negative 400. So we know it lies in the fourth quadrant. And we know that all angles in the fourth quadrant are negative. Sorry, sine ratio in the fourth quadrant is negative because it depends on y-axis and y-axis here is negative. So this is also equal to negative sine of 400 degrees. So instead of taking sine of negative 400, you can take negative sine of 400. Why? Because we already know it is negative, so you can take sine of the positive version of that angle. So you need a reference angle to this. And what is the reference? Since this is the distance between the x-axis and that angle, you can see the major, you have to take absolute value, right? It is going to be 40 degrees. So this is equal to negative sine of 40 degrees. So this is why coterminal angles and reference angles are very important in calculating ratios of angles, not even spatial angles. So even if it is uh, in radian, you can do the same thing. Let's look at it in radians. This is our unicycle. Remember that this is 2 pi, O, 0 radian, right? This is, um, yeah, since we are talking about coterminal, we are adding or subtracting 2 pi, which is 360 degrees. So if you have like pi over 6, what is another coterminal angle of uh, pi over 6? If you add, if you add 2 pi, it will give us 6 times 2, 12, plus this is going to give us 13 over 6 pi, right? So 13 pi over 6 is another coterminal angle. If you decide to subtract, it will be um, pi over 6 minus 2 pi. So it will be, this time this 12, then um, 1 minus 12 is 11 negative, right? So this is going to be negative 11 pi over 6. You get all of these trees have the same ratios because they lie on the same position. And even if it is negative angle, let's assume we have another one here, which may be negative pi divided by 3. For instance, if you add a complete cycle to that, you have another coterminal angle, negative pi over 3 plus 2 pi. This time this is 6, 6 minus um, 1 is 5. So this is 5 pi over 30. So another one will be 5 pi over 30. You may decide to subtract because you can either add or subtract. If you subtract, you have this time this to be 6. Negative 6, negative 1 is negative 7. So this will be negative 7 pi over 30. Negative 7 pi divided by 30. All of these have the same ratio. So in our next tutorial, we are going to look on to how to find the ratios of these coterminal angles using their reference angles. Thank you for watching. Do share to your and colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.